First, we would like to express our gratitude to the Rouge Park Middle School community for allowing us to present at this evening's meeting. Our team would like to bring forth a comprehensive plan to improve the school, family, and community partnerships surrounding Rouge Park. At the end of our presentation, we have built in five minutes for questions from the audience. As you know, the purpose of today's presentation is to discuss the viability of Rouge Park Middle School and the implementation of a plan improving the school, family, and community relationship within Rouge Park. We will discuss various ways to integrate parents and community members into the school community by outlining a plan centered around our core idea. This core idea is that as a district, we must establish a comprehensive school, family, and community partnership to recognize that parents, educators, and others in the community share responsibility for students' learning and development. Our plan for improving school, family, and community partnerships incorporates features aimed at bringing all constituents together. The design of our plan consists of three main areas, school, family, and community. Each of these areas are interconnected and cannot flourish without the support of each other. To begin, we will focus on the area of school partnerships. Within the school community, we must foster positive relationships between our students, staff, and parents. One of the ways we plan to accomplish this is through the use of PowerSchool and social media. PowerSchool is a web-based student information system that provides updates to families surrounding the school and community. PowerSchool allows families to see the academic prog progress of their children, see attendance trends, receive email updates, and more. Additional benefits of PowerSchool include one, a mobile app which families can access anywhere within their mobile phone's area of service, two, an in-program translation feature for families which speak English as a second language, and three, automatic attendance updates are sent to phones via PowerSchool. On PowerSchool, teachers will be required to keep behavior logs and set up automatic grade reports for students' grades when they fall below a C. In addition, teachers will create their own class websites for parents and students to access. Administrators will assist by providing professional development time for teachers to create their websites, obtain funds from external and internal resources needed to implement the plan, and win buy-in from the school board, superintendents, and the community at large. Besides that, they'll attend parent council meetings. Through the use of PowerSchool, we hope to integrate parents into the school community by providing consistent updates on their child's progress within the school context. We will use PowerSchool as a, tool, as a tool in our growing arsenal to combat poor communication throughout our school community and facilitate more parent participation. In an effort to make Rouge Park Middle School more visible and connected to the 21st century family, our plan also includes a social media campaign aimed at increasing our technological footprint. With accounts on Facebook and Twitter, as well as a school leader blog, Rouge Park Middle School will be able to disseminate information to prospective families while at the same time keeping current families in the loop as to what is going on at Rouge Park Middle School. These responsibilities will be addressed through the creation of a grant-funded position that will be discussed further on in this presentation. The second component of our improvement plan focuses on the community with the implementation of a community newsletter, evening technology classes, and the development of a community center. First, a community newsletter will be sent out on a bi-monthly basis with a two-fold purpose. One, provide updates to the larger RPMS community about large scope school happenings. Two, provide families with an update of potential topics of interest within the Roche Park community. For example, the newsletter will include topics such as community resources available to families, a summary of Board of Education actions, upcoming school events. Second, RPMS will develop and host courses aimed at increasing the technological skills and awareness of the community. Potential topics include using Microsoft Office, email, power school usage, responsible social media use, etc. Classes will be provided on site and via webinars for parents who find it difficult to attend on-site workshops. Third, in an effort to invite parents into the school, we are suggesting that there be a community center within RPMS. The community center will include computers for parent and community use, a bulletin board for community and school events, a location for technology classes, and parent council meetings. 
We suggest funding for the community center come from a combination of grants, school district funds, crowdfunding, and fundraisers. Family. The third and final component of our improvement plan focuses on the families RPMS serves. Parent and Community Council. We believe that Mr. Ross's idea of having a parent council is important to school improvement. That said, it is important that it is developed and supported by all schools, stakeholders, and constituents. We also believe that there should be structures in place to help guide the parent council to ensure that school and council are working in tandem. First, the parent council must have goals and parameters set directly related to moving the school forward. Second, the opinions of parent council must be equally taken into consideration, if not in violation of laws governing schools and district policy. Third, the parent council must be an open group for all constitu constituents and not just for parents. This ensures that all voices are heard and valued. Hiring a new position. Our, our team's suggestion is to hire a family and community support specialist that will serve as a liaison between the school, families, and the community. This position will be grant funded each school year. The family and community support specialist will be responsible for monitoring and posting to our social media accounts, writing and sending the bi-monthly newsletter, serving as the coordinator for the evening technology classes, and serving as the school liaison to the parent council. Through a search process, we discovered that many schools utilize social media to connect with their community members. In one example, the superintendent of Mount Morris consolidated schools informed our team that their district used their resources to contract out their editorial and public relations to Craig Media Associates. Craig Media Associates updates the district's social media pages, publishes and distributes community newsletters, and sends its employees to school events for their stories. Other districts, such as Ypsilanti Schools, use grant funding to maintain a family and community support specialist position. As a Title I school, we believe that the creation of a grant-funded position is very possible. If it is not, we will explore using general funds to contact out the services to companies such as Greg Media Associates. It is imperative we dedicate more resources to maintain consistent, positive communication with those in our community. Critical reflection. The strengths of our plan are as follows. Create more voluntary civic engagement among constituent groups in order to address collective concerns in a more positive way to increase interpersonal trust between our RPMS constituents and school leadership and staff. Develop a deeper feeling of interconnectedness in order to foster easier communication and correct miscommunications. Relay basic information and spell out mutual expectation among various constituent groups and make sure they are meeting them. Accentuate shared responsibilities between constituents and school staff. Facilitate and foster more relational reciprocity of respect and importance in roles that both parents and teachers play in educating their students, especially at an age where they tend to diminish. Build social fabric through multiple platforms of communication on potential costs of a new position. With that said, our plan must be implemented in a well thought out and purposeful way. In order to accomplish this, all stakeholders must have a full understanding of each of the areas we have discussed in this presentation. Every stakeholder must understand the purpose of our actions and feel that their voices were heard in the development and implementation of this plan. While principals have a managerial, political, and instructional role within the school environment, it is important that delegation of responsibilities takes place to ensure feelings of ownership in the implementation of our plan. Various teams should be developed to oversee parent involvement as well as community outreach. A full rollout of the school improvement plan should begin at the start of the upcoming 2015-2016 school year. This will allow the parent council the hiring of a community, community liaison, staff development, and our various technology pieces to be organized for stable implementation. Thank you for joining us for our presentation today. We will use this time now to take questions.